dust or something from the uh, other Yeah, day. you really got nailed, didn't you? Yeah, I certainly did, mate. Okay, mate. Well, I've been uh, wondering. You bought out this fantastic squid thing the other day. I've been wanting you to show me how you did it. Yeah, right, you yeah. know. Oh, this is all you're going to need to uh, make up a little squid float. They're pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward. You're going to need a flash of float. You don't need a flash of float, but the flashes uh, look like bait fish in the water and they reflect in the sun. So any, any advantage you can have is, is really good. So. Yep. Right, yeah. Uh, a little bit of fluorocarbon leader. That fluorocarbon is uh, almost impossible to see in the water well, from the fish's point of view. Okay, right? yep. So uh, it's just more carbon in the line. Yep. It's uh, a lot stronger too. Fantastic. And I only make it about, about a little over a foot long. So okay. Almost two feet long. Yep, fantastic. Allow for you, not. Yep. Is that what you're going to need? Okay. Just one of those little stoppers. That's where you can adjust your float to the various depths you want to have it in the bay. Yep. So you just run that little stopper down. Okay, yep. Okay. Right, so then you put your float on. And then your ball sinker. Okay. There it is, in the hand line. Now, just get your swivel. And I'll just do a simple blood knot. Just wrap the tag end around six times around the main line. Yep. And then back through the bottom loop. Yep. The tighter that pulls, the tighter it gets. And that's a bad example, viewers at home. That'll keep your dentist in business. Yes, it will. Don't bite the line off. Yes, you got scissors. Yes, mate. Yes, mate, good? or yes, mum. Yeah, yes, mum. <laughs> All righty, yeah. we get rid of that. Okay, so what you should have then is that. Just okay. Stopper up here. Yep. Remove. And you sink it running to your swivel. Yep, okay. Then you get your fluorocarbon line. Okay, and again, you just do your simple blood knot. Again, a blood knot, so six times around the outside. Yep, six times around the main line, then back through the bottom loop. Yep. So that's a pretty generic knot for fishing, isn't it? Yeah. You use I, it? I use it for almost everything. Yep, fair. What about hooks? Yeah, definitely. You use it on hooks as yeah, well? Yeah, you can do a double blood knot for hooks. Yep. Which it just runs up back through the other loop. So you put it back through the loop on the hook, and it, so it actually just sits on the shack. Yep. Okay, cool. Just make sure you get a little snap swivel on there so that way you can you know take the bait off and put another one on yep. in case it gets attacked. Yep. So you don't have to keep tying knots. And then you're left with the end result. Just watch your think there. <laughs> okay. That'll run down about a foot and a half. This will run up to your stopper up here. So just say if you're in two meters of water, you've got your meter there. Yep. Your ball sinker runs down to here, keeps that line straight. Yep. And then in the tidal fly of Western Port, that sort of sit on a bit of an angle, kind of holding it yeah. straight, look like a fish in the water, the squid come along, there's a decent feed, and then you get a decent feed. Fantastic. Well, that looks pretty basic, yeah. and, and as we saw on Sunday, it worked beautifully. Yes, it did. And more importantly, how was the squid, Mick? Yeah, yeah, it's good, it tasted good. Yeah? yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> it was worth the sunburn. Yeah. But uh, remember, kiddies, sunscreen all the time. And one of these, now, <laughs> we've introduced Mick to this new thing, it's a concept called a hat. I'm not sure if you're aware of it, but uh, Howdy. we're definitely going to uh, yes. definitely be. Uh